I would do anything just to get you back again. I would do anything at all. I know I'm not innocent. You deserve a better man. But let me just hold your hand once more. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna take you out. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still sleeping in my head. I don't care about you. And him. I don't care about what has been. I only care about your soft skin. Cause we're still So I got so many responses on where to eat, but this is like a two minute walk from where we are staying and there's literally, we could eat somewhere different every day in this, in this little village. We're sitting out in front of the broken egg and we're gonna wait for our guys to come catch up with us because they have spiked cold brews and lobster and brie omelet crab omelet Oh, that sounds good. You want a watermelon? Oh, 
good morning from Florida. It is so beautiful here. My lens is already fogging up because of the humidity. Today's our last day and I decided to wait till the last day to actually pick up the camera and vlog, but I have been doing Instagram stories all week. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen basically my whole trip already, um, but I will definitely be inserting some of those throughout this vlog. So I'm just sitting out on the front porch of our, I feel like it's more like a little villa, but it's called a condo, but it's like three stories. I will give you guys a tour of the condo. Um, probably when we pack up because it is so messy right now it's so messy and we're gonna pack probably this evening because we have an early early flight tomorrow um right now it is 10 15 and we are getting ready to go to lunch which we haven't been doing lunch we've just been doing like the beach or the pool and other things and just kind of snacking and then we've been going out to dinner every night um but we really wanted to eat at tommy bahama restaurant and they we went there last night for our date night but they were completely booked up so we were able to make reservations for lunch today so we're gonna go over there let me give you guys a little view so this is the view from our front porch and the bay is right there so you can see the water today the water is kind of gray looking so you can't really tell that there's water there um but we've been sitting out here a lot and there's just a bunch of forest and then this is like the entrance to our house or condo and then you can see like all the other cute little condos on the street here and there's a locked gate right there and then if you walk out of the, that gate then you're into the main village of um, it's called the village of Baytown Wharf in Sandestin Florida so I'll show you guys all around the village and everything today so but yesterday we went to the beach so I just put all of that footage in so you guys could see have never seen a beach so crowded like ever it was crazy busy like we got there and I'm like all I could see were tents like umbrellas I mean and it was so busy but um, we were able both days we went two days this week we were able to find a spot basically just like right on the ocean which was perfect because if I if we were further back we wouldn't be able to like see the kids and stuff so it was perfect um but yeah a lot of people said they get there at like 6 a.m to claim their seats on the beach so that was just wild um but it was still so so much fun um and then same thing with like the restaurants here everything is very busy everything is like booked up so we usually have like an hour to two hour wait every restaurant we go to um but the good thing is is that there's this whole little village so you just put your name in and then they text you when it's ready so you can walk around and stuff and with us since our house is right here we can come back home and like hang out here and then go out to eat um, once our table's ready so that's been really fun all the food takes like an hour at least at every restaurant so everyone is just working super hard um, I don't know if they're maybe understaffed or what but I know everyone is busy here all the employees so it's been so good last night David and I had our date night and we went to um, we tried to go to Tommy Bahama but it was full so we went to Emeralds and I will insert some footage from Emeralds and like what happened okay so no Tommy Bahama tonight okay um they're booked out or no today 
and tomorrow night. But they are open for lunch tomorrow. They had reservations available, so we made reservations for lunch tomorrow because I'm like dying to try it. And yeah, I was just, we're used to like putting our name in here. Since we've been here, we put in our name and then it's like a two hour wait and we just walk around and stuff until they text us. So this is the first time that they've been like completely booked for the entire night at a restaurant. We made it to dinner. We are at Emerald's. Emerald Legacy. Emerald's Postal. Literally every restaurant is like, not even just like a two hour wait, which is what we're used to. It's like, no, we're sold out for the night. So we were able to get in because we're sitting at the chef's table. We're in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> but this is open. And honestly, it's not bad. We get to watch them cook. Yeah, so this is so fun. And I can't believe how busy things are out here. It's crazy. Okay, so that was amazing. And I did, we did not expect to see the chef, owner, movie star, TV star. <laughs> movie star. <laughs> Working there and he was like so sweet and he was totally waving at me. Mm. <laughs> yes. You hear the people behind you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, that was five stars, so good. And now we're gonna grab our car and head back to the village. We need to grab trash bags. Oh, we gotta grab trash bags, yeah, for the house. Um, tomorrow's our last day. But anyways, we're gonna grab our car, head back two minutes over to the village, and then we're gonna go find a place. It's only eight o'clock though. We'll have to wander for a while. Nothing happens until 10 there. Mm. We'll figure it out. That was so cool. We actually got to like watch him cook and see him. It was incredible. And then after that, we went to this place called Rum Runners, which is like a dueling piano bar here. And it was our second time going there, which the fun thing is too, is like most, like that place opens at 10, or it doesn't open at 10, but they are 21 and over after 10. So uh, we got to go out there two nights because my parents can come back here and like watch the kids and everything. And then we can go out and do stuff like that. So it was really nice having my parents with us. What's the other one? and yeah so anyways i got a lot of sun i was sunburned but now i feel like it's already just turning into a tan so i will take you guys along with our day today and everything and show you a big tour and stuff okay so we are leaving the i know leaving our gate to go have lunch we're gonna go a shortcut, but I'll show you guys the village later. We're gonna go up the steps. Yeah, they did. Yep. Okay, this is the parking garage. We're gonna get our rental car yeah. and drive to lunch. But yeah. honestly, we've only used the car like, this is the third time using our car since we've been here. So we've- no, we used it one time. Uh, you didn't come with us the other time we used it. Mommy and daddy used it last night for our date night. Yeah. So this is all Sandestin area out here it's just so gorgeous everyone drives around in golf carts and we're basically in a golf cart 
we're in our little rental car, but yeah, there's just like different, um, I mean, people live in here though too. Like there's actual, it's not just tourists in this area, but we're about to be out of it. Not really. What? This is all. It's all Sandusen. And so if you're staying in Sandusen, there's like a uh, trams that come and they can take you to different parts. I feel like David's compared it to Disney World and I feel like it's kind of like Disney World. Like you can go everywhere, but we're staying at, let me flip you. But we're staying at the village of Baytown Wharf and it's honestly the best because you don't have to worry about taking the tram because you're literally right in the village the whole time, so. Okay, so this is right outside of our resort and this is where we went to dinner last night, this little plaza. I think it's called, oh, there's where we ate last night, Emeralds. Um, and there's so many cute stores, Vineyard Vines, Peter Millar, Lily Pulitzer. We went to Chubby's last night. Um, so yeah, there's so many fun little shops and then restaurants over here. So we're gonna go to Tommy Bahama for lunch. That's gorgeous. You have that wallpaper? I love it. with the umbrella thank you crab bisque oh you got the quesadilla too yeah okay so we just got back from lunch well a little while ago and then we rested i actually worked on editing a video today's a super chill day um it's very very cloudy i think a storm is blowing in um so it's like kind of nice that this is our last day, but we are gonna go over to the pool. Um, I'm so sunburned, so like I don't even care about like that there's no sun out. I'm actually kind of happy there's no sun out today. Um, I'm gonna read. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna walk over to the coffee shop first and grab a little coffee because I'm tired. It's like midday, it's 3.30 and I'm kind of tired. So that's what we're doing. I'll show you guys the pool area and I'll show you guys around here. Look how beautiful it is. I just absolutely love it here. Hey, mommy needs some coffee. Come on, baby. Okay. We're gonna go to the left up here. Okay. Nope, up here. So I got an affogato, which is gelato and espresso in a cup with whipped cream. I'm so excited. All right, so we are about to go grab some tacos from the taco stand because it's um, our last night. We actually have to wake up at like four in the morning. So I want to show you guys a tour. It just started raining, but honestly, it looks like it stopped. So I'll show you guys a quick little tour of our place and I know a lot of this stuff is gonna be Instagram stories and it's just gonna be a whole mess of a vlog, but <laughs> I wanna give you guys a quick tour. So we are staying at La Jardin, which is this condo here right in the center of this village that has all the shopping and all the things. And then there's trams that take you everywhere if you wanna go like to the beach. Um, the pool is in here though, so the pool was like a minute walk from where we are. So let me give you guys the grand tour. So this is the dining room. This is our back porch. Um, we do have a grill right there, which we never used. Um, there's a ooh, wine fridge that, we never, that doesn't work very well. Um, the kitchen's really nice and fancy. We went the first day and got a bunch of groceries. Now we're trying to eat leftovers and things because we have a lot of food to get rid of before tomorrow. I'm gonna give a quick tour, honey. 
This is the family room, which is really nice. I love all the light fixtures in here and like the tall ceilings. Kyle was watching something out there. And then this is the front porch. This might be my favorite, just like, I love this spot right here. Okay. All right, I'll take you guys upstairs. This is the front door. And then there's a lot of stairs in this condo. So right here is a powder room. And then you go up the stairs. And we've got laundry right here. Another little balcony right there. And then down this hallway we have the kids bathroom and then two bedrooms. So my parents took the, I guess, guest bedroom. We took the master. So this is their bedroom. They have a little balcony that adjoins to the kids closet. It's honestly a really nice bathroom too. Um, so this is their bathroom. And then I'll show you guys the kids room. So the kids are right here. Everything's a mess because we're trying to pack up. Um, we rented a crib for crew and then there's bunk beds, but obviously like they're both too young to do the top bunk. So Cal slept here and then crew, crew slept in his crib. Um, so this is that room. And then another flight of stairs. <laughs> there's so many stairs here, but I kind of like it. And this is the master suite up here, which crew is sleeping. Yep, looks like it already stopped raining. It's just like a big downpour and now it stopped. This is so pretty. And then it's hard to tell, but that is all um, the bay. But since it's so stormy, there's like a storm blowing in, which is nice because it's our last day. But um, normally that's all blue water, but today it's very cloudy and gray because of the storm. But this is so beautiful. And then like, this is the tops of all the restaurants and stuff. So this is how close we are to dining which is absolutely amazing okay we're gonna go out i got this hat from hook because i feel like a true floridian now Again, we've dri we've walked past it like every, every time we walk every past day, it's and it's been closed always. at like twelve. We've been closed at three. We've been closed at five. We've been closed at it's seven twenty-five. Last night we walked by and they said they close at nine. So today we're here at seven thirty and they're already closed. So we'll try to find somewhere else. I guess we just want something simple and quick, but yeah. 
All right, you guys, we're back home now. I'm back in a swimsuit. We got home super early this morning. Our flight was at 6.30, so we woke up at 4 a.m. It was a nightmare. I mean, it was doable, but it was just really kind of chaotic with the kids because they woke up at 4 a.m. and then they didn't sleep on the plane, so until like 9 a.m. by the time we were like heading back home is when they finally fell asleep, so. They were really wild on the plane, but that's okay. I'm so happy to be home. Um, we've been home for a few hours. I actually unpacked um, my stuff already. I'm gonna work on doing the, I did all the boys laundry. Now I just need to fold it all. I packed all my orders already. So I've been super productive today and now we are going to head over to our pool. So I just got dressed and ready for the pool, but I wanted to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a little bit less of what I would typically do for a vacation vlog, but I just wanted to relax and enjoy like family time. Um, so hopefully all of the Instagram stories and stuff like that were good too. So yeah, definitely follow me on Instagram because I, um, sometimes I can be very active over there. Sometimes I'm not, it just depends on what I'm doing. Um, but overall, 10 out of 10 vacation. I absolutely love Sandestin so much. I think we might go back. A lot of people suggested going to 30A, so we may look into that, and I also really wanna to go to Disney World, so lots of new options, because we like to take a trip, or we would like to take a trip every year with the kids, like once a year, um, so I'm so excited for next year already. Like, it was just so wonderful. They actually had a storm rolling in um, on, the day that we left so i'm so glad that we were able to have good sunny weather the whole time and yeah let me know if any of you guys have stayed in sandestin before and what area you stayed at like which um specific spot because i know there's so many different spots to stay in there and let me know if you liked it and i will see you guys in my next video bye